nobody is perfect. Whether it is a character issue, intelligence shortcoming, or physical imperfection, everyone has something they could improve on, and John Doe was no exception. In my early years, I felt a constant pressure from my family to eat. Although my par grandparents and parents had good intentions to encourage me to eat, the constant consumption of food led me to believe that I gained too much weight. I was considered big for a kindergartner, yet I continued to eat. This unhealthy self-perception was furthered when I compared myself to my more athletically built relatives. Everybody's beautiful, everyone but me. While my relatives were playing on the field, I was always the one on the sidelines. I couldn't help but feel inferior every time I see my cousin run up and down the field. As time went by, I began to hang out with girls more than the guys. When I walked by other guys, I didn't know why they would start laughing or snickering. When they came up to me, they would call me rude things, and at that time, I would laugh it off. I was constantly put down in middle school. I couldn't go anywhere without somebody calling me out and saying, hey chubby or look here, fat belly. From the locker rooms to lunchtime, I was under constant attack from people that would look down on me. I felt that I was never good enough and nothing I did would please anyone. As time went on, I started to work out and I tried really hard to change my appearance. I just wanted to be accepted and I didn't want to feel flawed. I didn't know what gay meant, but soon enough I saw that as a flaw. After many days and long hours of working out and trying to get the body I wanted, I finally felt like my hard work paid off. In the end, I want to thank the people who tried to put me down, because without them, I wouldn't have gotten to where I am today. I realized that through them, I've become a stronger person, and I've learned to accept my flaws and see them not as flaws, but as things that define me, like battle scars that show I'm a fighter.